Welcome back to the Reality Check special tonight. There is no doubt that one of the biggest issues in this year's presidential election will be gas prices. Already we're seeing the highest prices in history for this time of year. So what will the presidential candidates, if elected, do about gas prices? Let's take a look. Well, there is no doubt that gas prices are hurting a lot of Americans. And if we really do see five or six dollar gas this summer, it will cripple many families. So let's talk about what the candidates had to say during Wednesday night's CNN debate. Congressman Ron Paul says our current standoff with Iran and our intervention in Libya are partly to blame. The neoconservatives who now want us to be in serious want us to go to Iran and have, have an, another war. And we don't have the money. We're already, today, gasoline hit $6 a gallon in Florida. And we don't have the money. Well, actually, PolitiFact.com gave Congressman Paul a pants on fire for that statement, saying that gas is not at $6 a gallon in Florida. Though I checked into it, and according to GasBuddy.com, motorists are shelling out $5.89 for a gallon of regular gas at a Shell station in Lake Buena Vista. You can also find gas for $5.99 a gallon for premium. But that aside, the congressman is also correct that due to speculation in the market, every time Iran makes a move or the U.S. makes a move near the Strait of Hormuz, speculators raise the price of a barrel of oil. But what Congressman Paul didn't spell out was what specifically he would do to lower prices, other than calming the situation between the U.S. and Iran. And while that may lower prices somewhat, there's no guarantee on how low prices would actually drop. So what did Governor Mitt Romney and Senator Rick Santorum have to say? So I want Governor Romney to come into the conversation. We'll continue it with everyone at the table. As we have this showdown, confrontation, call it what you will, with Iran, uh, should our leadership, including the current President of the United States and the four gentlemen here with me tonight, be prepared to look the American people in the eye and say, ah, and I want to hear everybody's plans over the long run, I think I can bring down the price of gasoline. Or I can't, if that's your plan. Uh, but at the moment, we need to have a conversation about how, as long as this continues, the prices are likely to keep going up. Look, the price of gasoline pales in comparison to the idea of Ahmadinejad with nuclear weapons. Well, Romney and Santorum, they really did not touch on how they would deal with gas prices at all. Though both candidates have been attacking President Obama as of late over the high prices, saying that if only he had approved the Keystone Pipeline, prices wouldn't be as high. As for Speaker Gingrich, he was much more specific on what he would do. The energy issue is enormous. Uh, the leading developer of North Dakota oil estimated recently that if we would open up federal land and open up offshore, you would have 16 to 18 trillion, not billion, trillion dollars in royalties to the federal government in the next generation. An enormous flow which would drive down prices to 250 a gallon, would help us balance the budget, and would create millions of jobs. And the former speaker is correct that opening up North Dakota would bring in lots of royalties to the feds and could create hundreds of thousands of jobs, if not millions. But there is still no guarantee that prices would drop to 250 a gallon and also no guarantee that prices would remain at that level for any significant period of time. And that's what you need to know. Right now, we've had a very mild winter, and there is no shortage of oil in the United States. In fact, we have a very large surplus of supply from oil being drilled here. According to Fox Business's Lou Dobbs, though, the problem is not supply. It's that oil companies are taking our oil right now that's being drilled in the U.S., and they're selling it overseas to China and India while sticking American drivers with higher prices at the pump. There are a lot of factors that play into the price of gas, and the President of the United States may not have much control over the actual price. But none of the candidates, including President Obama himself, have really offered a solution to the problem of oil being drilled here, being sold elsewhere. And that is Reality Check. So, Alex, uh, how much are you hearing from Republicans in Hamilton County on the issue of gas prices? And do you think this is going to play a major role come the November election? Well, we're hearing a lot. And, you know, as, as the prices have crept up recently, it's a, it's a concern. It's a concern for everyone, especially Republicans. Of course, we, we think that we ought to have a comprehensive energy plan. We feel like this president hasn't delivered one. Do you think that in, in the event of, like, uh, Speaker Gingrich, he's talking about wanting to open up for more exploration, more drilling, uh, and obviously there's a lot of Americans, especially Republicans, who are really behind that, that idea. The problem, though, is if that is allowed to happen, and yet oil companies continue to sell that oil overseas and the prices do not dramatically drop here. Is there a backlash that comes from the American people who say, well, what's the deal? You're drilling for, for oil on our land and selling it overseas? Well, there ought to be a backlash because we need that energy here. 
Um, so, you know, I hope to see somebody address these problems. Talk to me a little bit about uh, the position the other night. I, I'm sure you were watching the debate. Uh, Romney and Santorum really didn't touch on the issue much at all. Um, how important is it if either one of them are the nominee to have a comprehensive plan for energy? They're not going to be able to skate by without one. Is that correct? I absolutely agree. And look, we were having the same conversation as a nation four years ago. I would, well, three years ago, I would argue that President Obama and his team really have not taken on the issue of energy and, and new energy exploration and finding new avenues of energy. So. I hope that a Republican, I expect the Republicans will have a plan. What about uh, in terms of what Congressman Paul was saying about it, the, our foreign policy right now in the Middle East, certainly with what went on with Libya, what's happening now with Iran, how much do those factors play into the price of gasoline? And do you think Americans are willing to say, let's continue to operate as we have been and watch those prices continue to go up? Well, we shouldn't operate as we have been. I mean, for a generation, we've been talking about getting off of foreign oil. Yeah. And I mean, it's, it's really a challenge for the next administration to yeah. do that. All right, Alex, thanks for that. So what is the number one foreign threat to America? A new poll says most Americans say it's Iran. So what will the Republican candidates do about Iran? We're taking a look on the other side of this break.